Creative Fortune asks, Hey Dan, I started a social media marketing agency and I need clients. I have no network of business owners. At the moment, I'm cold calling. So what do you recommend for someone who starts a B2B business? Create a fortune. That is a problem. Because if you're starting a B2B business, you're starting a, a social media marketing agency and you have problems using social media to get clients. Do you see the problem with that? It's a little bit like you are trying to teach someone how to quit smoking and you're a smoker. Well, you haven't done it. So you might think starting a, an agency, nothing wrong with starting an agency, but I'm saying is that if you haven't done it, you can't even do it for yourself, how can you do it for other people? I think it's an integrity issue. Assuming you have the expertise, assuming that you can do what you do. When it comes to social media marketing, how do you get started? And I know if you're watching this, maybe you're thinking of using social media to, to grow your business, to promote your product and services. Let me give you a three-step, step-by-step formula. Three step is very simple. Number one, find out where they are. Find out where your ideal clients hang out. Where are they? Are they on LinkedIn? If you're selling B2B, I think LinkedIn is a very, very powerful platform because there are so many businesses on LinkedIn. If you're selling B2C, business to consumer, then maybe Instagram is the way to go, or Facebook is the way to go, or YouTube is the way to go, or, or Snapchat, or Twitter, whatever it is that you choose. But you wanna, first of all, be very, very clear who are your ideal customers, who are your ideal prospects, and where do they hang out? Where are they out of this vast ocean of internet and this information highway? Where do they spend their time? Figure out first, where are they hanging out? Find out where are they? And number two, you wanna get in front of them. When I say get in front of them, is out of all these platforms, you wanna just pick one. One of the worst things that you can do is try to get on all these platforms that you got your Twitter, you got your Facebook, you got your YouTube, you got your Instagram, you got your LinkedIn, you try to do them all. When you try to do that, you will fail, 100%. Because each channel, each platform has its own uniqueness. You're gonna need to market to that audience very differently. The way you talk to them is different. Unless, like me, you've grown to a point where you have a, a pretty big team to do all these things. When you're just getting started, just pick one. Just pick one, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's, maybe it's Instagram, maybe it's LinkedIn. Just pick one platform and you focus on that platform and you focus on just mastering and understanding that platform and you learn everything you possibly could about that one platform. And as you do your marketing, as you create content, as you add value, you will learn. You get feedback from the marketplace, is this working? right, then you can improve from there. Every single course, let's say you want to learn about Instagram, you want, to ma you want to master Instagram, you want to market on Instagram, get every damn program course that you could, read every damn book that you could on just that, on Instagram, and you master that, and you implement the ideas, and you go back, implement, and impl you reflect, learn from it, and you implement. That's how you get going with social media marketing. Don't try to do them all, Right, jack of all trades, master of none. Number three, it is so simple. You sell them something. What? That's right. You fucking sell them something. You need to sell something in exchange of money. You can't just have social media following and hope that maybe someday that will turn into money. I have a friend of mine, I won't name any name. She's a top, top, one of the top 10 influencers in Canada on social media, top 10. Like, magazine feature heard. Like top 10 in terms of influence. She's broke. Making less than $30,000 a year. Looks glamorous, looks like there's a lot of followers, can make money. And I was, when I was talking to her in private and she was crying and she's like, I've been doing this, I've been creating content and people think I'm so successful, I've got this massive social media following. I can't even, I can't even pay my rent. I said, when was the last time you, you sell something to your audience? Well, she said, oh, I don't want to sell anything to my audience. They will think that I'm, I'm, I'm a sell out. That I, I don't know if I should sell something. I, I can't talk about that. I'm going to lose my audience. That is the wrong attitude. The only purpose to be on social media is to bring in business. 
some people that use social media for, for pleasure. I think poor people, broke people, they use social media for pleasure. I use social media for profit. I'm not on social media for pleasure. I am on social media to make a profit, to grow my company, to build my brand. That's the only saying reason to be on social media. As a byproduct of that, I get to impact millions of people. But I don't lose focus on the fact that I am using social media as a tool, as a vehicle to grow my company, period. Period. So you need to think about that. What is your intent? What is your outcome? You need to be very clear that you're out there. What are you doing instead of just doing a lot of activities and doing posts and, and getting likes and all that? You gotta sell them something. If you cannot overcome that, that you have a problem with selling, you always struggle with making money on social media. You need to combine social media with closing. And that's what I do, I teach high tech closing. By the way, if you have not attended my brand new masterclass, click on the link below or somewhere here, I'm gonna have my team put a link. Join me for a two hour free masterclass where I'm gonna go in depth much more into high ticket closing. How do you do some of these things? How do you actually sell your products and services without coming across salesy and slimy and sneaky and snake oil salesmen? How do you make people want to buy from you? That's what I teach. So let's review the three steps. Find out where they are, who they are. Number two, get in front of them. And number three, you sell them something. It's as simple as that. One, two, and three. Don't make it so complicated. Don't make it so complex. It's not, right? It's not, just like fishing. You go where the fish is, here's a bait, and you get a fish and you eat. It's that simple. Find out where they are, get in front of them, and sell them something. That is it. Comment below if you have any other questions about social media, and don't forget to click on the link and join me for my new masterclass.